It's your girl LMJ coming to you with your sip spiritual inspirational pause. And today I want to focus on the mercy of God. I talked about this last week in the devotional and I think I mentioned it a few weeks before, but my uncle said something so powerful in church the other day. He he was like you need to ask God for mercy. And so this began to put me into position to study more on the mercy of God. And I'm like, God, we don't know or understand enough about your mercy, or I don't know and understand enough about your mercy. I thought your mercy was the extent of Jesus Christ at the cross. And then I begin to look into the heart of David and Paul and Moses and Jeremiah when he began to intercede for people. And I'm like, God, we need your mercy. Like, Lord, we need your mercy. We need to understand your heart for us. We need to understand your how much we need your mercy. We need to learn to begin to petition and ask for your mercy because absolutely none of us are perfect, right? Um, that's why we had to have Jesus. And if we just think you're a harsh God or a hardened God and you're only judgment and you are <laughs> and you're only justice and you are, we'll never see the redemptive power in your mercy. We'll never begin to understand your mercy. And so... I'm learning that God doesn't show us his mercy. It's not accident, accidental. Like he is very intentional about his mercy for us. And so when David, when we see David here in Psalms 51, asking God for his mercy, he's simply saying to God, look, I need you to have mercy on me according to your loving kindness, not according to how I would be kind to others or not according to how I would expect you to be kind. I need you to have mercy, God, on me according to your unfailing love, right? And then he just begins to say, I know I'm a sinner. I know I've messed up. I know I deserve your justice, but I need you to have mercy on me. I need you to blot out my transgressions. I need you to wash all my iniquity away. And I always ask God, I need you to search the deep things of my heart because I'm pretty sure there's some things in my heart or some things that I've done that just don't line up with your will for my life, but more than anything, I need you to show you my mercy, your mercy. And grace and mercy are to totally different, right? Grace is extended to us, it's given to us freely, it looks a lot different. But mercy is when you know you've done something you absolutely have no business doing, or you know when you're outside the will of God, or you know you've been mean, you've been callous, or you deserve the justice, but what you're saying is, God, I need your mercy. Maybe you messed up your finances, right? you weren't good. You weren't a good steward. And you're like, no, God, I need a second chance. I, I need a second chance. Maybe you messed up a relationship. Maybe you weren't as good to somebody as you were supposed to. Maybe it's your kids. Maybe it's your marriage. And you're crying out and asking, God, I need your mercy. I don't need your judgment in this situation. I need to see and experience your mercy. I need to see and experience your love, right? Moses asked him, he said, show me your glory. And God came back and said to him, I, I show mercy to who I want to. Um, it's, it's not based on whether you're good or bad. I'm the God that determines who gets mercy. And so for those of us that are often condemning to ourselves and those of us that are often hard on ourselves, often we won't ask, come on, Holy Spirit. We won't ask God for mercy and we really need mercy. We need a second chance. We need him to forgive us. We need him to release us. We need him to redeem us. We need him to show himself strong, strong in our life. So I want to read Psalms 51, and then I'm going to pray with you. It says, have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, blot out my transgressions, wash away all my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is always before me. Against you and you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So you are right in your verdict and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth, sinful from the time my mother conceived me. Yet you desired faithfulness even in the womb. You taught me wisdom in the secret place. Cleanse me, this is the part I love, with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you've crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. And we can ask God for this. 
Create in me a pure heart, O oh God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Then I will teach transgressors your ways so that sinners will not turn back, to, turn their back on you. Deliver me from the guilt of, of bloodshed, O oh God, you who are God my Savior, and my tongue will sing of your righteousness Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. You do not delight in sacrifice or I will bring it to you. You do not take pleasure in burnt offerings. He's like, you. I can't do anything to make this mercy come. My sacrifice, oh God, a broken spirit, a broken contrite heart, you God will not despise. May it please you to prosper Zion, to build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will delight in the sacrifices of the righteous and burnt offerings offered Hold, then bulls will be offered at your altar. And David was simply saying to him, look, I need you. Look, I need you to forgive me. Look, I need to see your compassion. And the more that I have been studying this, this thing on mercy and how God's mercy and how God's heart is turned to our most, even Paul received God's mercy and his ministry started as I'm seeing this and understanding his mercy. It's also led me to have more compassion, like for other people, man, they need the same mercy. Like, and so if I see something with someone, I'm learning now to intercede. Lord, show them your mercy. Don't award them according to their foolishness. Or if it's someone, something someone's done to me, like Jesus, forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do, but understanding the mercy of God and how much we need his mercy and how we need to ask for it daily. Don't you need his mercy? I'm pretty sure you're convinced. I'm pretty sure you understand there is somewhere you need a second chance. You need an opportunity. You need him to fill you up. You need him to wash me over again. As the song says, you need him. You need him in this very hour. So I want to pray for God's mercy for you. Father God, I thank you. I thank you. You are the God of a second chance. I thank you for your compassion, the same compassion you had for David. And David was a man after your own heart and the same compassion you had upon the children of Israel when they deserved your punishment, when they deserved your justice and you still gave them mercy so that they could walk out and fulfill their purpose, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God for the same mercy, Lord God, that when Jeremiah prayed, Lord God, you extended mercy to your people. Now, Father God, I ask you for that type of mercy. Lord God, give us your mercy. Show your people your mercy today, Lord. Let them feel your compassion. Let them be filled with compassion. Let them understand today how much you love them. Let them be anchored in your word and anchored in your truth. Holy Spirit, fill them up, Lord God. Let their pride not get in their way, Lord God. Let, let, let them be anxious for nothing but everything in prayer and supplication, Father God. Let pride be kicked off to the side and let us cry out to you. Cry out for your mercy. Ask God, Lord God, I just need your mercy today, Father. I need your mercy in every circumstance, in every situation, in Jesus' name. And there may be a particular circumstance or situation in which you need God's mercy. Ask him for that, right? Ask him for his justice. Maybe your enemies are coming in like a flood. Ask him, Lord, don't let my enemies overtake me. Go read Psalms 4. Um, don't let my enemies consume me, Lord God. Hide me in the secret place. Even if I've done things that um, I know I wasn't supposed to do, God, give me some mercy today. And I promise you, I know God. I know his heart towards his people. And just because he's a good father and a good, good God, he'll extend you mercy today. If you want to know more about the ministry, log on to the website, LakeishaMJohnson.com.